sleight of hand and magic we've seen in a long time. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Don Allen? Gentlemen, very much. You want me to move anything here, or uh... well, this is where we sell the jewelry right here. Okay. I uh, I hide everything under the table. I hope you don't mind. It's, no, it's all right. I'll just try to get out of your way a little bit. Or... Oh no, we're fine. It's, uh, if I don't find the props, we're all set. It's, uh, would you do me a, a small favor? Sure. Would you Would you step inside here and uh, walk around and make sure it's empty first? All right. Well, you know that's enough. Come on now. You want me to look in? Make sure it's empty. It is empty. Huh? No one hides it in here. No. All right, now we're going to play a little game, all right? Sure. With a little white ball and a little cup, all right? Now, I'll explain the game so that I understand it, and then we'll play. All right, this is all that happens. A little ball moves in the cup. You shake it up and down, turn it over, put it into my pocket, and the idea is for me to sneak it out of my pocket under the cup. But without you seeing me do it. Got the idea? I think so. Are you sure? Positive? Ball. You understand the game? Yes. All right, we'll start from the beginning, because you understand the game, I mean, that's half the battle. See, that's it. Of course, when, when it goes in the cup, and I shake it up and down and do this. Now, I noticed before you were watching the cup. That was a mistake, huh? No, no, that's all right, see, but if you watch here, then you can't watch here. True. And if you watch there, then you don't see go back under the cup. See, that's the whole problem right there. See, <laughs> I don't think you understand the game. You see, I don't think so. See, when it goes in the cup, and I shake it up and down and do this. Now, first of all, don't believe me when I do that. That doesn't that's mean I put it there. Sometimes I leave it under there. Sometimes I do put it in my pocket. So I, I just, I don't know. Well, well, for fun now, what do you think it is just guessing? Under the cup or in my pocket? What do you think? Well, with my, I'm going to be wrong either way. Um, it's under the cup. Good, you didn't guess right. <laughs> Had you said in my pocket, then it's under the cup. See, I can't think of it. That's another thing You see, Johnny, it really doesn't make a difference where you say it, because when I put it in my pocket and I say where is it, now if you say it's in the cup, yeah. then I say it's in my pocket. But if you say it's in my pocket, then it's under the cup. Mm -hmm. I'm working with two of them. Yes. One's bigger than the other, but you have to have one. Would you pick it up in your hand? Does it feel solid? Yes, it feels solid. It does? It's a solid rubber ball. It, well, why do two of them fit under there? See, I don't understand <laughs> Everything in the <laughs> It's funny they fit in there before, I didn't think they did that. Uh, for about the eight or nine inches, you wait right there. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd do a little thing here. This isn't much, but it matches my eyes, you know. It's, uh, do you play cards? A little bit, yeah. What kind of game is that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun game. I, uh, I'm going to ship all the cards first. Uh -huh. All cards should be shipped. 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 It's, uh, and uh, we'll go around in a circle here. I wonder if you would sneak one card out. Yeah. Then we get Mr. Merrick to take the card out. No, just remember your own cards, and I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take one because they hardly ever give you one. Watch it. Yeah. And I'll, I'll hold my neck. Now, just remember your own cards. Johnny, put yours right on top and face there. I see. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Merrick, would you do it? Uh, very good. This is not much of a trick this way, but it's sort of cozy. Yeah. Here. It's called semi together. This is what it is. Now, we'll start with mine first. Mine is a jack of hands. Uh -huh. So to find mine, we put these under the handkerchief, and we put these all in the glass. Now watch the handkerchief. <laughs> I'm afraid to look under the thing, you know. It's a, and of course, my car was a jack of hearts, as we uncovered, and we have the jack. It's a ridiculous way of doing it, isn't it? It's a, it's a, uh, <laughs> Mr. Merrick, uh, what was your card, sir? Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds. We will even cut it uh, a, a little higher, a little faster there, please. Would you see? <laughs> that would be the one right in the back, right there. And so, I tell you what, we got a double parlay there. I think that was mine. Well, I tell you what, we'll, 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 do, we'll do it again, all right? <laughs> Isn't that, I'm getting to believe this myself, you know that? It's a, and right there, we should have the Ace of diamonds. Isn't that it's a, now, the nice part. <laughs> You can have as many cards taken out as you like. Makes no difference. I see. And you put them in the glass, they just pop right up. Now, we had Jack of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, and your card, the Two of Spades. No, no. Uh, deuce is what? No, no, Four of Hearts. <laughs> four of Hearts was my card. Uh, oh, oh, well, see, that's the only card that won't come out of the glass. I, I should have. See, what we do for that is we open the flap and we sort of walk the boat. And as we walk the boat, <laughs> and then we get the Four of Hearts. <laughs> That's too fast for me. Well, we'll play a little game here. You don't mind if I dress you up for a moment? No. 
Now, if they, if they laugh, don't pay, don't pay attention because you get a lot of care packages and it makes up for it. <laughs> In my pocket, I have a couple of coins. Now, you may be familiar with it. Silver dollar you're familiar with, I know. Yes. This is a little Japanese coin. Now, this is a puzzle, Johnny, not a trick. The silver one goes in this hand. The one with a little hole goes under the table. <laughs> I'm caught in a chewing gum here. <laughs> which coin do I have above? Remember? You got the, the silver dollar. Silver dollar. Uh, underneath, which one here? Over the, here, right? The one with the hole. That goes back. But when I do this, which one do you now think I have above? The silver dollar. <laughs> That's what I was afraid you were going to say. See, see, I don't have any up here. <laughs> see, that way I can't miss them right what you say. See, you know, they say, well, cover them up here. Would you take the hat off of your head, Johnny? <laughs> we'll, we'll do it undercover. Look inside the hat, make sure there are no coins of any kind. No coins. Would you put it over both coins? Now, is there any doubt that they're not under there? Can I look? Yes. <laughs> I don't trust you either. That's my money, you know. It's a, if I take one of them away and show you which one, the one with a little hole. Put it under the table here and do this. Do you know what happens? No. Well, now, under the desk is the silver one. Under the hat is the Chinese coin. All right. No, I'll do it again, right? All right. You don't understand the game. No, I don't. So, hold the hand, palm up. Forget the dollar for a second. Yeah. What would you say this would be worth in American money? Make a guess. Oh, a half a cent. That's pretty good. With your thumb and first finger like that, would you just take a hold of the little tassel, hold it like that, put the coin right to you. Now, you said there. Uh, what do you think? Half a cent. Half a cent. I'm going to show you what it is worth, but in a lump sum. You know what a lump sum is? Yeah. In a lump sum, it is worth about. It's worth one lump. You, you, you know how much that is? No. Lift up the hat. That's one lump. I'm rather glad you saw it tonight because on Friday I'm converting to gas. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's wild. But it's, it's that anyway. Wild stuff. What else you got? <laughs> would, would you like to learn how to do it, Twin? Sure, sure. Uh, you, you do this stuff. I know. I you. used to, but one not, fellow not like to this. Uh, this works with a nickel. Now, this, this nickel, this works with a dime or a penny. Uh -huh. Quarters to a head. And all you do is you take this, put it right between your eyes, put your finger up. Push it about halfway up and give it a little twist. And then stay there. It's very nice for parking meters. You know, it's, uh, when you push, you know, push straight in, Johnny, otherwise it won't stay. <laughs> I have a small hammer here. But <laughs> no, thanks. I don't think I'll go for that. I mean, no, no, I'm sure. <laughs> I've got the rest of the stuff under here. It's, uh, I brought the little snake out. I figured you got rid of the peacock. Maybe you get rid of the snake, too. You know. I, I won't touch him. Well, that's all right. It's, uh, this is a pawn shop that never quite me. We have a little stick and a little metal uh, uh, P.O.T., which I spell out because sometimes I work for children. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is to turn this upside down. Go. Put the stick under the arm. Take these one at a time. Put them in the left hand. Take the stick. Tap here. And here. Then it will jump. And it will appear underneath, so they become... <laughs> what else would you like to see? <laughs> I got an extra one here. We'll start with this. Take the second one. Did you happen to see it? No. I may have done that a little too fast. Uh, look, would you put the two inside? <laughs> Time. <laughs> uh, are you right or left handed? Right handed. Hold this with your right hand. Right hand. from slumbering off, you see. Now to change the plan a little bit, we'll put this one into the pocket. Mm. This leaves how many inside? Two. <laughs> You'll hate me. I'm back to the three again. <laughs> you still don't understand the game, no. do you? No. Hold your right hand palm up. Hold that very tight in your hand. Now, you've been a magician before, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll hold one, but you hold the other one in the same hand. Let my finger out, otherwise you can. Yes. Hold this with your left hand. This with my left hand. Yes, now with the other hand. <laughs> Makes you one short, don't it? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Well, well, I tell you what, we'll work with what we've got. Would you take the stick, tap my hand and your hand? Mm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you notice how much harder it's mine than his? Of course, you can hardly see this one. Slowly open your right hand. <laughs> but we'll do it again, all right? Yeah. All right. In fact, we'll change the plot because, again, stand it like it is. We'll put this one in the pocket. Right. Hold this with your sneaky right hand. Right hand. Now, I'll hold this one. We'll take this one. Would you take the stick, tap my hand, and the B.O.T.? 
Mm-hmm. Now, did you see it? Look. No. You tap it again. This is insane. You see it? No. You'll tap it till you see it. I saw it. <laughs> I, I saw it go. I saw it go. If you saw it, that makes you some sort of a nut. Yes, you know, a little bit. Little bit. Well, it did go. Yeah. I'll hold the stick. Would you check and make sure it got there? Yeah. See, that's some sort of a nut. And it's... Uh, That's the wildest table stuff I've ever seen in my life. That is great. How long have you been doing this? It'll be three weeks Thursday. <laughs> Actually, John, I can't tell you because it's a secret and I keep it locked up here. <laughs> See, because by the way... <laughs> See, otherwise the zipper won't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just between you and me, don't you think they jumped the gun? They'll be too full. <laughs> Did you see this? Hold it up close. Take a close up. Right there. <laughs> you think they jumped the gun? That's uh, maybe just rushing them a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. why. I gotta do a commercial? All right. That weighs a couple of pounds. See what? That was tremendously entertaining. I want to thank you for being here tonight. It's my pleasure. Come back and see us again. We're done out.